if you have nvidia gpu and you are not utilizing these settings on your pc so guys seriously you are also damaging your gpu and also you are losing a huge performance out of your any low end or high end nvidia gpu so guys before starting this video if you're first time here please subscribe drop a like and also make sure to share your gp model in the comment below and i will give you some best suggestion in order to improve your pc performance so guys in the very first step we are going to enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling on our windows so for that you need to go for your windows search search for registry and open up registry editor on your pc so right click and make sure on this as administrator therefore you can have the full access on all the settings of your windows now guys you need to simply go into the description of this video and guys there you will find out these addresses of the registry simply copy it from the description paste it here and hit enter and now from here you need to find out here this registry that is the hw schedule mode if it is not available you can simply right click go for new go for d word 32 bit value and name it like exactly with the same capitalization now simply double tap here after that you need to go for this value data and set it onto the two now set the base onto the hexadecimal and hit ok and apply the settings on your pc now in the next step we are going to disable gpu throttling on our windows so for that copy the next path from the description of this video simply paste it here and hit enter once you are here you need to find out here this attribute if it's not available guys again right click go for new go for d word 32 bit value and guys create a attribute registry on your windows now once you have it now double tap here now go for this value data and again set this value onto the two set the base onto the hexadecimal and hit ok and now close out of this registry editor so guys now in the next step you need this nvidia app on your pc you can guys download this app from the official website of the nvidia or you can simply check out the link in the description for downloading the nvidia app on your pc now here you will find out select a preferred driver this is the game rate driver for the gamer and nvidia studio driver for the creator so personally i am playing games so go with the game ready driver and click on the next button now also turn on the settings that is the optimized game and creative application click on the next button enable the nvidia overlay and hit done after that go for the driver option and from here you need to go for this check for update if any latest driver is available for your gpu so guys it will show you here simply go for it and guys install the latest nvidia driver on your pc once you have update your driver you need to go for this graphic settings and here you will find out these global settings now simply follow the same exact settings also on your pc after that close out of this nvidia control panel now in the next step you need to download this nvidia optimization pack on your pc link will be down in the description simply go on my website and download nvidia optimization pack on your windows inside you will find out msi utility nvidia profile inspector and at the end gear up booster.txt file so guys open up the first folder that is the msi utility and inside you will find out this exe file so right click and make sure to run this as administrator otherwise this application will not work on your pc so now hit yes so once you go out here this comes the interface of the msi mod utility now you need to find out here your gp model it is anything for you so i have nvidia geforce rtx 3070 this can be your gpu so guys go for it and check mark onto the msi box now go for interrupt purity click on the drop down set it onto the high purity of your gpu after that now go for integrated one so here i got this intel uhd graphic 770 go for it and now go for msi jack mark on this box go for intra purity and again set it onto the high after that click on the apply button and apply these changes inside the msi mode utility now in the next step we are going to optimize our nvidia profile inspector settings so for that go for the folder and guys by using this application we can optimize some other settings that is not directly available inside our nvidia control panel so guys you need to go for this nvidia profile inspector exe file double tap here hit yes and open up nvidia profile inspector now right now here we are in our global driver profile and from here you can guys change all the settings that will affect on your every single game but if you wanna guys do it for a specific for the fortnite valorant so guys simply go for the search bar and search for that specific game like if you wanna do it for valorant so go for valorant one if you wanna do it for the fortnite so you can go with the fortnite but guys personally right now i'm gonna go with the uh, global one so now in the very first step here you will find your compatibility simply leave all the settings go for sync and refresh 
leave all the settings and now here we find out the settings that is the anti aliasing so guys now you need to go for the anti aliasing go for this anti aliasing transparent super simply go for it and guys set it on to the disable now go for this anti aliasing transparent super simply go for it and set it on to the and set it on to the 0x0008 double a mode replay mode all simply guys apply the settings now next you need to go for this texture filtering one now from here you need to guys change here this quality that is the texture filtering quality so go for it click on the drop down and set it on to the high performance now scroll down here you will find out this power management mode so go for it click on this drop down and guys set it on to the prefer maximum performance out of your gpu once you apply all the settings on your pc now click on the apply change button and apply all the settings inside nvidia profile inspector by the way if you want to revert all the settings back to the normal on any point so you will find out here this button that is the restore current profile to nvidia default and this will reset your all the settings back to the normal but guys i'm not doing it because these are the best settings that you need in order to get the maximum performance out of your nvidia gpu so now click on the apply button and apply these changes inside your nvidia profile inspector and close out of it now in the next step you need to open up this txt file that is the gear up booster and now from here guys simply copy this link from here put it in your any browser search it out and guys download the gear up booster on your pc and guys this application will help you to getting the maximum fps and lower ping while you gaming in your any game in fortnite valorant csu or any other so guys make sure to download the gear up booster using my link in this pack or in the description so guys now in the next step we are going to optimize our windows power plan settings because power plan settings of your windows is also play a very important role in your gp performance so for that go for your windows search and search for power and open up choose a power plan from here guys set it on to the high performance by default it is on the balance but you need to go with the high performance then go for change settings and open up change advanced power settings once you got it here you need to go for the hard disk click on the expand and open up turn off hard disk after and set it on to the zero minute now you need to scroll down go for this processor power management click on the drop down now here you will find that minimum processor state and maximum processor state so go for it and set the both settings on to the 100 percent after that hit apply click ok and close out of this power plan and now you need to simply one time restart your pc therefore all the changes properly take effect then launch your favorite game and enjoy the best performance out of your nvidia gpu i hope so you love it please make sure to let me know your opinion about the video in the comment below and i will see you in the next one